All right, welcome back. So in the previous videos, we imported our model. We added the materials for a tune shader kind of look for our particular model. And now what we want to do is add a camera to our uh, model, but have it fully animated. Currently, we go to our camera, pressing zero on our keypad. We press spacebar and we have our animation, but the camera is static. And if your motion already came with a pre-built uh, camera, so we want to add that in. So let's do that now. What we want to do is either click on your camera here on the 3D viewport or over here in your collections. And then go to your MMD uh, settings, press import motion, or you can also do it over here, import motion. Um, right here, this little squeaky line, which is going to be the same squeaky line here. I prefer to do it here on the end panel. Saves you from going, uh, clicking more multiple things. Go to your file browser, and uh, for me, it's going to be this one, and it's going to be the camera. And here, we're going to change the margin. Since our animation we previously imported at uh, 60, we want this one to be the same at 60. If not, then you're gonna, your camera is going to be out of sync with your motion. So make sure those things are the same uh, margin as you would your uh, bones, your uh, model's uh, animation, and then click Import. Now, if you go to your uh, camera, let me turn off all the other crap. Now your camera is fully being uh, animated. So now you can do the probably like same as the previous video, select your renders and then render your settings and then voila, you're done. Now, if some instance you want to edit the uh, animation, right? Let me click on this one. You probably grabbed this guy before and it's stuck, right? You, you're moving it around, but it only goes forward and back. Like you want to move it to the side. I'm moving the mouse over here, it doesn't move. I'm gonna move it over here, it doesn't move. You wanna move it up, it doesn't move, you move it down, it doesn't move. That is because this camera it is parented to an empty object, which is gonna be this little guy. And on, let me open up MMD. Okay. Uh, no, oh, wrong one. Okay, so the camera view that you're currently looking at right now will be pretty much this view. Right. And the empty, this little dude, it's going to be this uh, red dot that you have here in space. So wherever this red dot got a keyframe here within uh, MMD, it is the location of this guy. So if I move the empty, the camera will go with it. So in order to do a uh, animation, or edit an animation, for instance. Let's say you want to get her full uh, hair, and right now she's sitting cropped, right? Because you're only seeing this much. This up here is not going to get rendered. 
uh, we have our keyframes being recorded. I'll go here, press uh, your numpad zero. You can select and zoom in, right? So within this one, we want to actually move it up here. I will always click on the camera. So you have the camera selected and then control click on the empty. So you have them both selected now. So this one selected and the empty selected last. This means you will get a keyframe on this one and this one again. So in this particular animation, it would seem like every single keyframe got register. So let me see. Okay, let me go here. So from here to here, there's no keyframes in between. So let's see how that looks. It goes from there. And then there, I just there's a little teleport on those keyframes. So let's change something here in between. Okay, let's say we want to move the camera up and then tilt it over. So, so I'll select that one, select that one. I'll focus somewhere over here and then move up. So here we have this little part going up, focusing on the face, and then going back to its original location. So place that one, and it looks like that. And you delete those, you back to the original one. So that's pretty much how you go about it. I would like to grab them both. So grab both and then move it around wherever you want. Have the uh, keyframes selected. And then later on, you'll see them. Uh, you'll find them faster here in the. Uh, timeline or easier to edit so that pretty much covers the basics of how to uh, import a uh, motion how to edit your animations you want to grab the empty and how to edit those about now let me talk about the camera Here you have some little features. In the uh, MFD, uh, once you import it, it created some uh, focal distances and depths, same as you were here on uh, MMD. You'll play with these angles, right? So these settings are this focal length settings so if you were to move this one so your focal length will change but here they're being um, driven by a driver that's how work on for MMD so if you want to change this you want to get rid of this driver and it's going to be delete but if you delete it now this is now fixed it's not going to move anymore, so it's not going to be animated anymore. So now, you, but once you have this, now you can play with the uh, perspective of the camera. But just be aware that you will need to keyframe now every single one from uh, before, because also now it's going to be fixed to the last uh, perspective view that you had. So let me undo that.
if I move around you can see that number I like move around so like it's all dependent on the uh, how it was uh, animated here in uh, MD using this little window. The depth of field, which is pretty neat. This creates the, like, uh, this blurry effect and since it's focus on the empty of the camera, depends on the way the animation was made usually good animators will actually have this little dot focus on the model and that's somewhere in space you can actually have it nice and focused and use this one if it's for some distance like further away you're always going to get a blurry image all right so that's one of the main reasons why you might want to edit the animation and move this empty instead of being somewhere over here in space you want to have it in a particular spot where the model um, is going to be in focus because not always will this work right off the bat now in the camera you can change in keyframe the focal length as well so it's either you change the empty location or edit your f-stops uh, focal length so pick your evil right there if you don't want to have any of uh, depth of field yes don't use this one and you'll render everything in your scene exactly the same background or whatnot okay so here now let's say you edit the uh, animation however you want you're good with your things have your settings and now press F12 and now you're going to be rendering that animation and for this one I had it at uh, frame 1 so it went from render a bunch of like useless stuff but now it's going to be rendering the camera movements okay so one last thing let me cancel this if you have for instance multiple cameras in your scenes here so i had a, a different one let me turn this one on okay so this one has no animations into it uh made to it let me delete those make sure there's none so there's no keyframes and then you press you go 60 f12 you're rendering the new camera but you know you have the other one and you're like okay so i'm stuck i can't render the one that i wanted uh, in order to do so you can click on the little green one it's going to make it active okay the other way around which I find it more finicky would be to uh, click on the other camera and I believe it's control zero control alt zero mm. it is a control shift no, okay, I already forgot which uh, keybind. Well, there's a <laughs> keybind uh, combination that you can go and toggle the other one. But um, just click on the green camera 
we'll make that one your active camera. It's going to be the active one that's going to be rendering. So press that one, F12, so you're going to be rendering that one. Click on that one, you move the other camera, and move that one. Okay. So that's why you can flip around whichever cameras you want. And make sure you're rendering in the right one. That or the worst case scenario, you can just delete the cameras you're not using and you only have one camera in your scene. And no matter what, you're going to be rendering the appropriate one. Alright, so with this one, I'm going to be calling this one a video. And I'll catch you guys next time.